Praise Jesus. Bana asifiwe. Wakati mwingine tena I take this opportunity to thank God for the privilege to bring to you the word of God this evening this precious time wherever you are maybe in where you are it is morning we bless God we thank God for his faithfulness yeye ni Mungu na habadiliki nashukuru Mungu kwa uaminifu na ukuu wake na Mungu wetu bado ni yule jana leo na hata milele hajabadilika yeye bado ni mwaminifu yeye bado ni kimbilio letu tegemeo letu msaada wetu na rafiki wetu wa karibu Ngependa kuchukua nafasi hii kumwamini Mungu pamoja kwa ajili ya ujumbe wa jioni hii ya wakati huu kwa jina la Kristo Yesu. Na tuombe Baba, tunakushukuru Mungu wetu mwenye uwezo. Asante kwa sababu ya neno lako, asante kwa sababu ya mtazamaji wangu. Mahali popote alipo na mbarikisha mbele zako. Tunapodhishiriki neno pamoja tulipokea kwa shukurani na sifa na utukufu zikurudia Bwana. Nena nasi litukuze jina lako kwa kuwa ni mwema. Kwa jina la Kristo Bwana tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Naenda kusoma maandiko katika kitabu cha Mwanzo mlango wa 13. Genesis chapter 13 from verses 10 to 15. Genesis chapter 13 verses 10 to 15. Maandiko inasema and Lot lifted up his eyes and behold all the plain of jordan that it was well watered everywhere before the lord destroyed sodom and gomorrah even as the garden of the lord like the land of egypt as thou camest unto zoar then lord chose him all the plain of jordan and lot journeyed east and they separated themselves the one from the other Abraham dwelled in the land of Canaan and Lot dwelled in the cities of the plain and pitched his tent toward Sodom but the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly and the Lord said unto Abraham after that Lot was separated from him lift up thine eyes and look from the place where thou art northward south and southward and eastward and westward for all the land which thou see to thee will i give it unto thy seed forever taka nikuletee ujumbe wa bwana ambao unasema ya kwamba lift up your eyes watu wengi tuko katika wakati ambao ni mgumu wakati ambao mambo ni mazito wakati moja maandiko yanasema ya kwamba Abraham alikuwa naishi na Lot na walipoendelea kukaa pamoja hawa watu wawili kuna jambo walilofanya pamoja maandiko yanasema mstari wa kumi ya kwamba and Lot lifted up his eyes maandiko yanasema ya kwamba verses number 14 and the Lord said to Abraham after Lot was separated from him lift up now thine eyes Ibrahim akainua macho naye Lot akainua macho wakati huu watu wengi wanainua macho yao wanatazama mambo mengi there is so many things people are seeing it is a time when things are tough people are lifting up their, their eyes i don't know we ukinua macho yako kile we unaona I don't know what you are seeing when you are lifting up your eyes at such a moment. What do you see? Others can see failure. Others can see death. Others can see pain. Others can see disappointment. Others can see discouragement. What do you see? Ningependa nikuulize mtu wa Mungu. This is the time to lift up our eyes where does our help come from where is our future and how are we going to survive lift up your eyes my brothers and sisters 
Lift up your eyes. And when you lift up your eyes, what do you see? Bible inatupatia story ya watu wawili ambao walinua macho yao. And when they both lifted up their eyes, they saw different things. What Abraham saw was totally different from what Lot was seeing. Hata sasa people are seeing totally different things when they lift up their eyes. Wengine wanainua macho. Wanaona jamii zikikuisha. Wengine wanainua macho. Wanaona mambo ya kizidi kuwa magumu. Lakini ningependa nikwambie mtu wa Mungu, inua macho yako jioni ya leo. Na unapoinua macho, Mungu yangelipenda uweze kuona. Ningependa tuangalie maandiko katika mwanzo 13 tuliposoma mstari wa kumi hadi tano. Abraham alinua macho naye Lut akainua macho lakini kile walichoona walipoinua macho yao ilikuwa tofauti jambo la kwanza ni kwamba wakati Lot alipoinua macho yake yeye aliona ulimwengu aliinua macho yake akaona dunia mbele yake he lifted up his eyes and he saw the world he saw the good land mambo mazuri yaliyokuwa yamekaa kumbe ni mambo ya mwili but when abraham lifted up his eyes what abraham saw was the promised land saizi kuna watu wakiinua macho wanaona mambo ya mwili wanaona mambo ya dunia ningependa nikwambie mtu wa mungu inua macho yako na uzione ahadi za mungu the promises of god are still yes and amen they are still there ahadi za mungu bado hazijabadilika Mungu bado hajabadilika. Wengine wanainua macho yao kama luti. Wanaona tu vitu vya mwili. Wanaona mambo magumu na mateso. Wanaona vile hali takavyokuwa ngumu. Wanaona tu vitu. Luti alipoinua macho yake jambo la kwanza aliona ulimwengu. Je, we unapoinua macho? Je, watumia macho ya mwili kuangalia? Unaona tu vitu vya mwili? I have good news to you. Ya kwamba jioni hii ya leo unaweza ukabadilisha vile unavyoona. Lift up your eyes and let us be like Abraham. Let us lift up our eyes and be like Abraham. Let us still see the promises of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Tuinue macho yetu, we still see the promises of God. Bado tuone Mungu huyu ni yule jana leo na hata milele. Ni Mungu yule ambaye ahadi zake bado ni za milele. Kile alichosema ndio atatenda. Mwimbaji akasema aliahidi atatenda tumainie Bwana Mungu kile aliahidi tuone ahadi zake ya kwamba ye ni Mungu anaahidi na anatenda wakati Lot alinua macho yake ye aliona vitu vya ulimwengu Mtu wa Mungu usiangalie tu na macho ya mwili hali mambo ya livyo usiangalie ficha yako na mambo ya mwili Usiangalie biashara yako na mambo ya mwili. Look at the promises of God in your promise, in your vision, in your dream, in your future. Jambo la pili ni kwamba Lot looked in self sufficiency. Aliangalia katika vitu vya kujitokeshelesha. Aliangalia vitu vitakavyomfanya yeye asikie vizuri. When you are focusing my brothers and sisters at such a time usitafute tu vitu ambavyo zitatoshelesha wewe zitakufanya tu usikie vizuri zitakufanya mambo yako yawe sawa Lot aliangalia Sodoma na Gomora akaona ni mahali patamfanya yeye atosheke mwenyewe Lift up your eyes my brothers and sisters Abraham akainua macho yake and looked in perfect trust ya akaangalia katika tumaini lililokuwa limekamilika let us not lift our eyes in self sufficiency. Tusinue macho yetu kujitoshelesha wenyewe. Tuinue macho yetu tukiwa tunaangalia katika tukiwa tunamtumainia Bwana. Ni wakati wa kuinua macho yetu katika tumaini. When we lift up our eyes, number one, Ibrahim alinua macho yake akiangalia the promises of God. Number two, akainua macho yake katika perfect trust akiwa anamtumainia Mungu. Tuinue macho yetu watu wa Mungu 
katika kumtumainia Bwana. Jambo la tatu, Lot alipoinua macho yake, aliangalia na moyo uliokuwa umeongozwa na tamaa. He was driven by greed and lust. Ya aliangalia vitu vilivyokuwa vinafurahisha macho. Vitu ambavyo vilikuwa vinamfurahisha, vinafurahisha mwili. At such a time when we are lifting up our eyes to siangalie tu vitu ambavyo ni vya kufurahisha mwili. Let us lift up our eyes not like Lot but like Abraham. The Bible says Abraham looked with a heart. Ya aliangalia alinua macho yake let's lift up our eyes and look like abram with a heart that is driven by sacrificial love moyo uliongozwa na upendo wa kujitoa moyo uliongozwa sio kwa tamaa za mwili sio kwa greed but a heart that is led by love moyo wa ibrahimu ulipoinua macho maana ujue we have two set of eyes I am not talking about these eyes of the flesh. I'm talking about the eyes of the heart. Lot anaangalia na macho ya nje. Yake ya ndani ilikuwa imepofuka. Mtu wa Mungu usiangalie maisha yako na macho yaliyopofuka. Angalia your future na macho iliyofunguka na ni Yesu peke yake ndiye anayeweza kufanya macho yako yawe wazi. So that you may see things from the perspective of God. Tuone kama vile Mungu aonavyo in your business, in your family, in your relationship, in your plans, in your dreams. Don't see with the eyes of the flesh, see them with the eyes of the heart that are not darkened but have light. Jesus came that we might have light because he is the light. Jambo lingine Lot alipoangalia Maandiko yanasema yeye aliangalia Sodoma na Gomora. Akaangalia mahali palipopendeza macho. He looked through the eyes that were connected to a worldly and a committed heart. Aliangalia na macho ya ulimwengu. Lot akaangalia future yake na macho ya ulimwengu. Akaangalia na macho ya, ku, ya kufurahisha dunia watu wa Mungu inafurahisha lakini furaha yake ni ya muda tu. Furaha ya ulimwengu ni ya kupita tamaa zake pia zinapita. Usiangalie future yako na macho ya mwili yanapita mambo ya ulimwengu yatakwisha. Angalia future yako kama Abraham. Maandiko yanasema Lot akainua macho akaangalia kile aliona aliangalia na macho ya ulimwengu. Ibrahim naye akainua macho akaangalia Abraham looked through the eyes that were connected to a committed and spiritual heart. Alikuwa na moyo uliokuwa committed kwa Mungu. Moyo uliokuwa wa kiroho. Angalia mambo si katika mwili lakini katika moyo, katika roho. Let us look at our future. Ukiangalia future yako through the eyes of corona, you will not see breakthrough. I have come to tell you this evening in the name of Jesus this time that you are watching me may it be morning where you are in the name of Jesus look at your future with a spiritual and committed heart Usiangalie kama Lut Lut aliangalia na macho ya ulimwengu macho ya tamaa macho ambayo ilikuwa ni ya kiulimwengu kabisa lakini Ibrahim akaangalia future yake na macho iliyokuwa ya kiroho iliyokuwa committed see breakthrough see the future Mungu akamwambia Ibrahimu as far as your eyes can see so shall I give you what do you see wewe ambaye umefunga biashara wewe ambaye umesimamishwa kazi wewe ambaye umeambiwa tulia nyumbani kwa muda mshahara umepunguziwa what do you see I have come to you today with the word of God that may you open and lift up your eyes but don't see like Lot may you see like Abraham in the name of Jesus Christ Let us see the future that has so many promises and breakthroughs a future that is blessed a future that is victorious Ukiangalia ndoto yako ya kuimba nyimbo zako unaona kama zitakwama look at your eyes look at your future with the eyes that have breakthrough 
Look at your future, not like Lot, but like Abraham. Lot akainua macho yake, yeye akaona future ambayo ilikuwa kumbe ni temporary. But Abraham looked at, looked at a future that was permanent. I pray for you this evening in the name of Jesus. May you lift up your eyes to see a permanent future in the name of Jesus. See a permanent future for your marriage, a permanent future for your business, a permanent future for your blessings, for your breakthrough, for your plans, for your dreams. Kama ulikuwa na future ya kupanga, kuoa na kuolewa, usione ya kwamba corona itamaliza. Look at the eye. Ona na macho ya kiroo, macho ya mungu. The other thing is, when Lot was seeing the future, ye aliangalia, he looked, he lifted up his eyes. Ye aliona, the best of the land. Ye aliona, this is the best. Ukiangalia na macho kama ya Lot, ukinua macho yako, uangalia na nguvu za mwili, you will see the best. Lot saw the best of the land, but let me tell you, Abraham was about to get all the land. Unaweza ona hii ni mzuri lakini ni kwambie inaweza kuwa mzuri lakini sio yote. Ibrahimu alipoinua macho yake yeye aliona yote. Maandiko inasema ya kwamba Mungu akamwambia Ibrahimu, look at the east, the west, the south and the north. Hallelujah. There are those who are looking with their eyes. Wakiangalia wanaona tu ile kidogo na ni mzuri. Let me tell you the pleasures of the world may be good but they are there for a very short time. Hallelujah. Blessed are those who have lifted up their eyes. Spiritually they can look at the east, west, north and south. Mandiko nasema mungu wakamambia Ibrahimu. Genesis chapter 13. Ya kwamba inua macho yako. Angalia kusini, kaskazini, magaribi, mashariki. Wakati huu. Mambo ya naweza kuwa mazito. Ya kafanya ukaangalia tupahali pamoja. Nimekuja ni kuletea bari njema. Katika jina la kristo yesu. Usiangalia tu pande moja. Mungu anatamani uangalie pande zote. Kusini, kaskazini, magaribi na mashariki. Abramu wakambiwa na mungu. Inua macho yako. Angalia pande zote. Nimekuletea habari njema. Ya kwamba wakati uni wakati wa kuinua macho yetu si ya kuangalia tu mahali moja lakini ya kuangalia pande zote kama Abraham katika jina la Yesu kwa biashara yako usiangalie upande moja angalia pande zote kama Ibrahimu katika jina la Yesu Mungu wetu njia zake ni mingi yeye si njia moja peke yake usikae kama mtumishi wa Mungu na Bielia siku moja akatamani akamwambia Mungu ni uwe aka Jua mungu ni wanjia moja peke yake akaenda kujificha mahali pangoni maandiko inasema akasikia mingurumo akafikiria mungu yuko ndani ya mingurumo akasikia dunia ikiguruma akasikia dhanda akasikia akasikia upepo akaona moto akafikiria mungu yuko ndani ya moto wacha nikwambie unaweza kuwa leo hii umefika mahali maisha yako umeangalia upande moja hauoni breakthrough inaweza toka mahali kwengine Unaweza kuwa uko nyumbani umesimamishwa kazi umefanya biashara yako umefunga haileti mapato vizuri nataka nikwambie mtu wa Mungu ya kwamba Mungu wetu ni wa njia nyingi njia yake si moja peke yake maandiko inasema wakati Elijah alinyamaza akiwa mahali pale ameona Mungu kwa njia zote akafikiria na kuja hakumuona alipotulia maandiko inasema akasikia ka sauti kadogo ka Paul a still small voice I tell you this time lift up your eyes my brothers and sisters God is still speaking 
speaking. There is a way that God can give you an answer. Hapo ndi alisikia sauti mungu wa kimuambia. Enenda nimeweka mwanamuke ambaye ni mujane. Atakulisha utakula miaka tatu na nusu. Wakati ulimwengu unaumia. Watu wanainua macho yao wakitazama. IMF haiwezi tusaidia. World Bank sio msaada wetu. Serekali saidia. Wakati utu inue macho yetu tumuangalie mungu. Bado yuko na njia. Anaweza kututengenezea. Ya kutusaidia. Ya kutupatia ushindi. Ya kutupatia njia ya kutulisha. Na kutunyesha na kutuvisha. Jioni hii mchana huu asubuhi hii mahali popote ulipo. Inua macho yako kwa bwana. Karika jina la Kristo Yesu. Those who walk in faith. Those who walk, wanao tembea na imani yao ikiwa kwa buwana na mioyo yao ikiwa imewekwa katika makusudi ya mungu. Hawa tembei kwa uoga. Hakuna kitu takacho poteza. Mungu analiheshimu, anaheshimu imani. Waibrani ya kumina moja mstari wa sita. Mandiko inasema ya kwamba. Pasipo imani ya tuwezi kumpendeza mungu. Without faith it is impossible to please God. And the Bible says and they that come to him must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Let us seek God by faith. Faith carries our answer. Faith carries your answer. Abraham aliangalia the future na akaiangalia in faith. Lot aliangalia the future akaangalia na tamaa za mwili. I am here to encourage you this time my brothers and sisters. Tuangalie maisha yetu through the eyes of faith. Lift up your eyes. Mungu akamwambia Ibrahim Jioni hii asubuhi mchana huu mahali popote ulipo Mungu anakuambia inua macho yako what do you see I pray for you in the name of Jesus kwa hiyo kazi yako inua macho ona mambo mazuri inua macho angalia kwa njia ya Mungu inua macho ona watoto wako wakifaulu ona kazi yako ikifaulu ona mambo yako yakiwa mazuri because that is the desire of God na usiangalie upande moja tu ninakuletea habari mzuri inua macho kwa imani angalia kusini kaskazini magharibi na mashariki na Mungu atakutenda mema. Inua macho yako. Ona ushindi. Ona mambo mazuri. Ona neema. Ona kibali. Ona kuishi. Ona kubarikiwa. Ona kuinuliwa. Ona kutendewa mema kwa jina la Kristo Yesu na Mungu akubarikia kutende mema. Nataka ni kuombe mahali popote ulipo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Baba na kushukuru kwa sababu ya mtumishi wako huyu mpendwa huyu ambaye anainua macho yake kile anaangalia naona kupitia imani kupitia neno lako kile umesema kiwe na kifanyike katika maisha yake wengine ni wagonjwa wanaona kama watalemewa na inua macho yangu kwako baba naona wakiamka wakiwa na afya katika jina la Kristo Yesu wengine wanaangalia wana naona biashara zikifungwa mimi naona bwana wakipanuka naona wakisimama na kuendelea wakifaulu na miujiza kutendeka na milango zaidi kufunguka katika jina la Kristo Yesu wengine wanaona nyumba zao kukwisha ninaona ndoa hizo zikisimama maana kuna Mungu aliye na uwezo wa kuzitendea na kuziimarisha wengine wanaona masomo yao yakifika mwisho maana fedha ni kama zitakosa mimi naona wakisoma na wakimaliza naona wak wanaendelea vizuri wengine wanaona kufukuzwa kwa nyumba kwa sababu ya kukosa renta i lift my eyes to god mi naona ukilipa naona ukifaulu na ukiendelea vizuri katika jina la kristo yesu wewe unaona kufungiwa nyumba unaona madeni ikikunyamazisha iki unaona kushindwa mimi naona mungu akikuhifadhi akikutendea mema kwa sababu tumaini lako liko katika nyumba ya mungu liko katika Mungu liko katika neno lake liko katika kumtumainia yeye usichoke baba angalia kila moja maana umesema kwa imani tunakupendeza imani yetu tunaweka kwako wakati una tunaona ushindi tunaona breakthrough hata kama tumeambiwa tusitoke tumeambiwa tu 
uchunge wakati tusimame wakati utusifungue ili tusifungue lile bado tunaona Mungu uko pamoja nasi kama Ibrahimu alivyoinua macho yake tuainua baba na tuwaona kama vile we unavyoona mambo mazuri yenye ushindi kwa jina la Kristo Bwana tumeshukuru na tumeomba mtu wa Mungu sema amen Mungu akubariki tutaonana wakati mwingine katika jina la Yesu asante amen